G'day, Peanut Scrappers. Menace here with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. We're playing more of this awesome game as you guys always enjoy watching it. So I thought I'd play more of it. You know how it rolls. We're back in Peanut Land 2.0. And I think we're almost done for the amount of rides that we have here. We've got, what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think maybe we can make a couple more smaller ones uh, around somewhere. I might even talk to Mr. S the Slime Guy um, about nicking a couple of his little ones. I also need to make a sign over here that says like Mr. Robot's section, I guess. We'll make like a little a little attribute to Mr. Robot because he did design one, two, three, four of these. And he's actually sent me a couple of more um, images, uh, images, a couple of more rides that he thinks could go in here. But I mean, well, there's the one of, it's basically one I want to show you. It's really good concept, but it's super laggy. So... I kind of want to avoid all of that. So what we'll do, what I want to do actually is I've been, um, I made some stairs and I've just been working on the, on the little bits to make it more in line with peanut world. I'm actually in the process of deleting this. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Cool Robot, but I don't like it. Um, I think we'd be better off if we used, um, pipes just like we do on the other rides. So I, I mean, this probably was pretty tricky to do. To be honest, um, I need to kind of have a look here, though. Make sure I don't delete stuff that I should not delete. Um, we'll chuck this in here. Yeah, okay. So he has got two there. I definitely do not want to delete that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a T-piece. A T-piece here. Uh, we'll use these as well. And we'll have to probably put one of those in too. We're going to put a T-piece here. Right, and then uh, we can just sort of go like this, and then we can just drop it down. So we might go back one, like this. There, put that one there, and is this going to line up? It might line up just right. We'll see. Bring it all the way down. It doesn't line up too badly. We can kind of extend the floor out a bit. I'm going to do that probably on all four sides, but in the meantime, uh, well, I will, I'll get to that. And then I've got to do some painting and I really do have to spend some time in peanut land. But uh, for now, we might just go and check out these other worlds. Uh, the first world though is by David and he sent it through a few cars, which we're going to just try out together. I haven't even looked at the map. We'll see how it goes. So David's been a good bloke and he's watched uh, some peanut scrap mechanic before and realized that I can't just find my way to wherever we need to go so he's put down some signs for the general direction i'm pretty sure it's over here by this landing pad which is really great and helpful thank you so much david um i'd also like to talk a little bit about the game there's not much else that i can do in this game without it getting too boring where where are we oh we're going over here yeah um i'm already like scraping it trying to find content for everybody to enjoy so I really want to try and finish Peanut Land very soon and get that done. I, there's also the option of checking out things in the workshop, but I really don't feel like that's a good thing. Um, you know, just taking these creations and putting them on my channel, people, you know, and me benefiting from it. I feel like that's kind of... Like, if you send it to me and want me to do that, there's a difference, I believe, in just taking it and using it as my own. So I'm not going to be doing any of that. But anyway, um, let's check out David's World. First of all, we've got couple of cars what is that all right um this is his low rider i like it it's super cool drives all right what's one do oh it opens the doors you need that song you know that low rider song that's in gone in 60 seconds ah it doesn't have any steering either it's just all using the suspension glitch one of my favorite ways of turning anything in the entire scrap mechanic universe <laughs> Right, we'll pull it up. Oh, yeah, that, that's actually a pretty nimble car. I like it. Good, 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 good. Or is, no, that's not the go-kart. Pretty sure the go-kart's here. That's the go-kart. Not as um responsive as the low rider. But still fun to drive. Weird. I like the color scheme. Black and that green. Super nice. Pretty basic car, man. I like it. Oh, hang on. Not so basic. It does have some suspension. That's cool. All right, let's check out... <laughs> to, to a sick little jump. Go check out this limo. This looks cool. Doors open. Yes! There's a fridge. There's seats for all your friends. Can we get out the same way? Oh, we can go out this way. 
And then we need to get our little limo hat. Could be like Mr. T. Has he got like... Oh, it's supposed to be a gear stick. The, that's cool. Alright, uh, what's one do? I uh, opens my door. Two. Opens up the boot. Is that where the engine is? That's where the engine is. And... Ooh. It's got like double suspension and everything. This would be sick. Oh, this is a good... This is a good design. I really like it. Nice black limo. We can go pick up our VIP friends and get stuck on a rock. Yep. Doesn't take long till I get stuck or just go upside down in a vehicle. Um, we've got a couple more. There's a bus. Oh, I know what that is now. This is like um, an aircraft towing vehicle, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it is. So the you know you know how you go to the airport and you can tow like a like you get towed around the um, airstrip. That's pretty much what this is. Doesn't take long again to get stuck. Uh, we'll put it on the suspension down here, and we'll just take a little look at some of the details. So. Like, the entire thing, like the aircraft, I suppose, kind of lodges in here. You've got, I like that use of the the red and white cones as well. These little revision mirrors. Ah, oh, super cool, man. Nice, nice work. All right, what else we got? We've got a bus. A little go-go mobile there, too. Um, where's the bus driver's button? Over here. Oh, how secret is that? I like it. You must be a bus driver in real life. <laughs> Alright, so. Shut the door. Oh, check it out, man. It's like a little sensor for people to come in and out, I guess. Those doors are pretty spiffy, man. Look at that. That is like... I cannot tell you how hard that is to, to figure out, guys. Like, that is... That is I'm pretty sure that's really difficult to to work out to make them move like that. Yep, this is my favorite out of all of them. Really good stuff, man. I've always rolled it already. Look at the suspension on it. Oh, the lag is real. Nope, we're good. <laughs> like wobbles. That's so cool, man. This is definitely the coolest bus I've ever seen. In scrap mechanic for sure let's open the doors up and we can get back outside oh we did break the doors though I guess that's a something you're gonna have to get you have to deal with having some awesome design like that can I get out the back door got all the seats in there for all the little kitties to go to school oh that Humvee looks cool but we're gonna check out this little yellow and black mini Cooper type car <laughs> that's cool man it's a really nice sleek design it's got got all the cool parts oh and as usual using that suspension glitch to turn let's jump out of this one we're going to jump into this this is what he calls the teacup and it spins why not i guess It's <laughs> so pointless. Why? He's even got tea in it. Look at him. Oh, that's cool. I don't understand why, but just because. Just because. And last but not least, we're going to check out this one here. The Humvee. Bonnet. Sunroof and doors. Oh, the door's on a timer. Boot. Oh, yes, this is this is the good stuff. That's actually a really, really true design to the actual Humvees. Which I don't think they use anymore. I think they stopped, stopped making them. Or at least in the military, I'm not sure. -ah! That's so good. Nice work, David. Thank you so much for your submission. Let's go check out Mr. Robot's uh, new design that I want to share with you. And I think we're going to probably call it there. All right, Mr. Cool Robot 33 has sent me a lagalicious, lovely little machine, and he calls it the Swings. All right, now it works very similar to the giant drop we had in Peanut Land Point 1.0, um, but it has a few little differences. As you can see, there is a lot of seats here, but the lag goes away once the wheels connect. That's not too bad. 
So the seats here, you can you can see what's going to happen, right? It's like a helicopter. It's actually a, like a drone, more like it. Um, if you have a, ever used a quadcopter or seen a quadcopter, I have a quadcopter. They're pretty cool little machines. I do love that sort of stuff. Um, so pretty much the same thing. It actually moves up this... Uh, this center post very smoothly and as you can see i'm not really getting much lag so good stuff there mate we're gonna to have to get to the top here and then we're gonna push two. Oh, he's taking a leaf out of the giant drop out of armitage's book we press three this would probably be one of the most terrifying rides conceivable dude and then we drop Hoy! <laughs> That's so good. And then the lag is not too bad. If we put this back on, I like how you've got the sensors going so that when you hit the bottom, the seats. What is that noise? That is so bizarre. Why is that wheel turning? It's not connected to anything. Let's connect it temporarily to, like, this engine. What? That's super weird, man. Super strange. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Um... Like I said, I do want to do some work on Peanut Land 2.0 coming up in the next few days. I know I've been a bit slack with the with the releasing of videos. Um, but there's some Necropolis. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It's a cool game. Something different that I really would like to, to dive into. Maybe streaming on the weekend. I don't know. My life is hectic. You all know that. Um, but yeah, if you want to submit some stuff, there's always the email below. I like seeing your designs. They're super cool. And even if you just want to send like a link to the Steam Workshop, because the Steam Workshop is now a thing, and it's super cool, you can do that also. But that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Menace. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel and hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Thanks for watching.